Okay, so the next video story in the um let's just wipe that away, so what the guys. In, in the next of the uh the story tab, which is basically the story of the game, which is actually very oh come on guys. What's up? Um which is actually quite interesting. Uh you gotta follow the story, you pay quite a, quite a careful attention to Nia. And it's actually quite an interesting story where she kind of pulls your character in. This is getting really annoying. No, I need to turn that off before I record the next video. I do apologize, guys. Um, so basically, you follow the story of Nia, and uh, it goes on and on and on. And eventually, it gets so hard that you just give up. <laughs> and then the troops get stronger, and you get equipped, and then you can attack them. And I'm really, really sorry, guys. This WhatsApp is getting bloody annoying at the moment. Um, but yeah, so this is basically where, in a way, where you get the story of the game. You know, you can read the story and it takes you through everything. You actually get lots of good troops as well. Uh, you got chances of getting rare troops, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you do get bonus drop rates. So, like, for example, uh, I'm now currently at Tablelands 2 and it says 2 times drop rate for rare crystals, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, and I would uh, I'd probably go in a couple of days and spend some time on those rare drops because you never know what they get, you know, what troops or what champs you could get, etc. But your story mode is pretty fun. So, Clash has it. Uh, I think when you're about to attack someone, it's got the little, on the left hand side, it shows a little tree going downwards where you, you know, you can attack goblins and all the stuff. This is a story mode, a lot more better, a lot more interesting, so, um, for example, let's just quickly go into one, so let's go into Table Lands uh, 2, and you'll see, she says, When I was a kid, someone told me that the Table Lands got their names cause giants ate their dinner here, I believe, for long, uh, sorry, I believe way longer than... I want to admit and you click on it she basically gives you a story and you'll see that your bubbles go up your uh, your gold or your charm goes up you and it'll tell you what you're gonna get you know you know you're gonna get a morph essence which is a times two of morph essence um, what do you need so you uh, bottom right so you have the start button below it'll say uh, your current energy level for example I've got 31 out of 36 energy left and I need two energy and, th and these are battles of the story battles are very light very cheap guys so you're looking at two you start off with one energy and it moves up to two. I mean, I've been playing for such a long time in regards to story mode. Um, I mean, I'm from the bottom all the way to the top here, and it's only costing me two energy, so you won't burn energy up here. Or if you're building stuff and you run out of energy and you've got like this old four bars of energy left, uh, this would be a pretty good place to carry on. Right, so that's basically it. If, if you go into start, I'll show you what it basically looks like. It's basic uh, yourself against the AI, attacking them and. You know, they're in different base designs. It starts off pretty easy, has to go straight down the line. It's a lot more difficult. And that's basically it. It's you attacking AI bases and being three stars or two stars, whatever. And you get loot and you get uh, whatever champs fall off in items, etc. Alright, so that's basically story mode, guys. I'm just going to come out of this. Um, and in my next video, let's just quickly have a look. I think the next one is probably explosions. <laughs> Let's let's have a look. Oh, I came right out. Sorry, guys. Let's quickly have a look and see what the next one is. So the next one is excursions. Great. So that's the end of story mode. That's basically your story mode in the game, which is awesome. Um, and we'll catch you for the next one. Thanks, guys.